What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, brothers, we are living in some different times now where roles are being reversed. And some of you brothers who are 30 and up, you remember when the tide was changing, when the men stopped you know, providing for almost everything and women started, you know, even splitting the bills or started to becoming providers themselves. And obviously out of that morphed the independent woman. That's why you got the, you know, these people singing the I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? You know, things like that. Right. And, um, you know, women at that time, especially in black America, took the opportunity to uh, sort of clap back at black men to say that they were not like their predecessors. They didn't need to be barefoot and pregnant and submissive to any man. They got what they want and they're more educated and more talented and all of these things started to hear, which I don't have no problem with that rhetoric. The, the thing that I'm gonna talk about though is don't blame black men for the results. And for the results, what we saw, um, and I've seen this through women I went to college with, <clears throat> um, they're older and unmarried. Now, for those who did get married, I know one in particular. I went to high school. She's OBGYN. Um, I'm not going to get into looks or anything like that, but I'm going to just say that, you know, whatever, right? She's married to um, a broke stand-up comedian. What does that mean? you were not able to get who you were looking for because who you were looking for don't want you. Let's fast forward to today's topic. Lizzo, um, we we know who who Lizzo is. We know what her opinions are. She not changing for no man. She not going to tile down or change her femininity for nobody. That's cool. But when she tried to go after guys, what happened? Chris Evans, Captain America, all that flirting fell on deaf ears. We know what he really wanted to say, but he couldn't say it for fear of, you know, you, you BBW shaming, you know, uh, stuff like that. Right. Carl Anthony Towns. She went after Carl Anthony Towns and then was showing up to the Lakers game with crazy stuff on. Didn't pay any attention. We know who she ended up getting with. Or who he ended up getting with. Somebody that don't look nothing like Lizzo. But now, look at the guy, Mike Wright. Now, it's come out, according to Media Takeout, which Media Takeout could be lying, that Lizzo chased Mike Wright for years. She begged him for years. He wasn't interested. And decided that after a while, he would be with her. But if you look at them, again, Lizzo's type is not a man that looks anything like her. Uh, If you look at body types, not saying that she's unattractive or anything, but he is what you would consider to be slender, or you can say more fit. That's the kind of man that she likes. But how do you get a man like that if you're not a man like him? The same way, and and, and I'm going to be real, an older man who's out of his league gets a woman that's in her prime. Money. We don't want to talk about that dichotomy, do we? But it's the truth. And let me kind of circle back to the ladies from the 90s era and now an independent. If you want a man that is in shape, if you are not, Good looking, if you are not that. If you're a woman that is going to compete for that sort of man, and the only stipulation is that man don't have as much money as you, you're going to be the man in the relationship. That's what you're seeing right now. We saw that with Wendy Williams. We saw that with Mary J. Blige. These women who made more money than the men that they could attract 
ended up doing what? Taking care of them. Ended up what? Getting sued. Oprah and Stedman, Oprah was smart enough not to marry Stedman. Because if Oprah would have married Stedman, what do we know what would have happened? Stedman would have been gone. Stedman would have been gone. Don't believe me? Let's look at the Jesse Williams thing and Aaron uh, Drake Lee. I don't have a problem with Aaron Drake Lee. Educated sister, she's beautiful. Um, Some of you might not think that she's beautiful, but I'm talking about as far as, you know, she's a very talented lady, seems to be um, a sweetheart. I, I, I like the sister, you know, shout out to her. But she got with Jesse Williams when he was broke. What happened when he got money? He was out. And the women that he deal with now, none of them resemble her at all. So the question is, how long will Mike stay? I know, I, I, I think we got the answer. He gonna stay as long as he ain't got the money to stay. As long as he's broke. If he blows up, okay, here's what's gonna happen. He gonna blow up, not saying he don't love her, but what I'm telling you is he ain't gonna need her as much because his career ain't gonna go nowhere without her right now. But once that changes, oh, people gonna start acting real light-skinned up in this thing, trust me. And then what is it gonna go back down to? And this is what a lot of ladies don't understand. Getting the bag is something that is important, yes. But damn it, if you don't know how to treat a man. If you, cause, cause even looks are gonna go away. Look at Amber Rose. Looks goes away. Don't know how to treat a man. Don't know how to keep a man there. He's gone. All right. Bye bye. And, and, and we don't want to deal with that, but that's the truth. And, 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 and the reality is, is that Lizzo probably did chase this guy. It's, it, 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 it could be true. I don't know. Because there has to be a reason for him to be there. We could we could we we could turn around and say it's love, but do y'all say it's love when the passport bros go over to the Dominican Republic and get a woman that is significantly less, you know, talented than he is? It ain't love no more, right? See, if Lizzo gets with a a dude that make less money, that's love. It's a good look. Let the black man go over to Thailand now. All of a sudden, he being used. Oh, she don't want you. Let an older man get what you want. Oh, she don't want you. She only wants you for your money. What do you think this is? You think that he he with her because, I mean, she's the she's the, she's the newest thing since sliced bread. Is that what y'all think? Could be a nice person and all that, but what I see is an opportunistic situation here. That's what it looks like to me, and I think the brother's looking out for himself. And once he gets on. What, what, what shall he act? He waiting for the right time. Just like Larsa Pippen. Once she got on like she wanted to, Scotty Pippen, they never saw this thought ended up coming. And, and he gonna do the same thing. Right now he's playing the, huh. I don't know if you want to call it the wifey kind of role, but we all know he ain't running no, no, no relationship over there. She running it, but just give him a chance. And we're going to start to see how many ladies out here, because you can be a man and provide for a woman and it's okay. But a woman that's making more than a man, she's in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. We're out.